Voila. Voila. Here we are. Vlogging. Chick fil A is hitting. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back, y'all. Hello, hello. So we're gonna be doing something different. We're gonna be doing a little vlog. We're uh, vlogging. Just answering some questions, let y'all know what we're doing, going uh, about our day, just so you can get to know us a little bit better. Well, yeah. he was at work, so we couldn't really vlog the way we wanted to, like yeah. throughout our day. But yeah, yeah. um, it's about three right now. And yeah, we're just we're running, kind of running a little errands. Got to go pick some stuff up. What all we gotta do? Um, but while we're taking with y'all to run errands with us, we're gonna just answer some questions, like our frequently asked questions. What? <laughs> Run it back. <laughs> okay, what I was trying to say, <laughs> okay? <laughs> We'll be taking y'all with us to run some errands. We'll be taking, we'll be taking y'all. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with my we'll brain? We'll be taking with y'all to errands with us. <laughs> okay. Well, freaking second talking. It's a little cloudy outside. Yeah, it's, it's a little gloomy. But it feels good. It's a good, it's a good temperature, but mm -hmm. we're going on a trip on our favorite rocket ship. Look at our puppies. Oh, yeah, they always do this. Our puppies are known for that. They're so cute. Anytime we see our neighbors and we're walking down the street, they're like, oh, that's the two little puppies that's always in the window. <laughs> the two little teddy bears. We're like, yep, that's like them. Porcelain doll yeah. dogs. Some people some people thought they were fake until they should. Our first destination. You know what we need? What's that? Go to Target. Did you get the receipt? Fuck, no, I didn't bring the clothes. So now I gotta bust the U turn. Fuck. That's what we need. We need to have like a little dashboard thing. Yo, I'm gonna kill him. He uh, can't find the receipt to the clothes. We went to Target, came home, realized that the pants do not fit his large butt or legs. So, I couldn't find it. I thought you said you had it. Huh? I thought you said you had it. I might have thrown it away. Why? Because I usually throw plastic bags away and I think the receipt might have been in there. <sighs> but, we're getting stuff from Target anyway, so we'll just get store credit or something. Okay. Right? Yeah. Hopefully they have a reader. I mean, honestly, I still wanted the same clothes. I just wanted them in my size. Okay. So, no biggie. Biggie pop. Okay. I asked some of our subscribers, you know, what what kind of juicy questions they want me to ask you or you ask me or answer for them. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're second guessing everything. You I know, because I don't know if it's right or not. Um. I would say who, but I know you're watching this. Oh. She said, have you ever whooped his ass? Boy. You wanna answer that? Boy, has she ever. <laughs> um, when was the first time you knew you were in love with each other? Okay, story time. Oh. <laughs> he said, I love you first, right? Twice. <laughs> That's the story. He said it twice, okay? So, this was like five years ago. We're texting. And I did, I don't know what I did. I did something that you thought was funny and you were like, man, you're so funny. I love you. And I was like. I thought it was on the phone. No, you texted it to me. Really? Mm -hmm. And I was like, hold up. Texted my best friend, Maddie. And I was like, he just said that he loved me. Is, is, am I right? He just said he loved me, right? Like, it's not like, oh my God, I love you. It was like a, I love you. I was like. Do I love him? I mean, do you really know when you love somebody? Like, right then and there, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like a, you wake up a morning and you're like, oh my gosh, I love, I mean, maybe some people, you know, whoever this is watching, maybe you have, I don't know. But for me, that's not the case. I don't know about you, but I was, I had to question myself because I don't think I really ever thought about it. I just knew that I had these like strong feelings for you and I really liked you and I like talking to you. Yeah. Fun and we vibe so well. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I love him. I think I love him. So 
rainy over here. Thought it was a really good idea. <clears throat> no, I didn't think it was a really good idea. I was just worried. About so, what? all right, I'll tell you. So the very next day, cause I was drunk when I said that too. I was out with friends and we were doing sort of like the long distance thing. Um, cause I was down in Mississippi for work and she was up in Virginia. And the next morning I called her and talked to her and I said, Hey, like, I know I said this to you, but I just don't want it to be like confused or misconstrued. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like I was drunk when I said that, but I don't want to say something that I don't mean. And, and I know that like broke her heart kind of but like that's what I was feeling like I wanted to keep it real you know what I'm saying so I'd rather have said that instead of like fakely saying I love you all the time like that would have been whack anyways the next weekend he said it again. <laughs> got drunk and said it again and then at that point I was just like you know what I think I love you <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> but yeah <laughs> you know I was cool still part. I was still getting used to the feelings like you know what I'm saying like because it's like you said like mm -hmm. do you, you don't really know if no, you love somebody you, right then and there no. so I was getting like I was kind of like denying you it. start to question what love right, is right yeah, yeah. you're just I was, like yeah what? I was like denying the fact that I love you I couldn't deny it no more another frequently asked question that we get is how do we keep the spark alive that was one of the questions that we had in our Q&A mm -hmm. Yeah. And we didn't have time to add that into our, fr our like our very first Q and A because we didn't want the video to be too long. We got a lot of questions. Yeah, I was really surprised. Yeah. Um, but I would say we're going to Target, y'all. We have almost arrived. I'm in the parking lot. I would say um, just being like brutally honest with your partner. Yeah. I think it's just like so important to just. Like, if you're upset with something, I mean, y'all saw the prank he pulled on me, like, immediately off jump. I did not like the way, I did not like the way that he looked at me when he said it. I didn't like his tone. Yeah. We didn't say hi all morning, and then. That's true. You know, so I said mm. something. But that's pretty much it, is how we keep the spark alive. Like, and most people, what they don't understand is, like, they get bored in relationships. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I think I want something new. No, you don't want something new. You just don't know how to tell your partner you want, like, hey, this is this is what I'm feeling. This is how I'm, because you change. You're going to change in life. But you got to tell them, like, hey, this is how I'm changing. Or, you know, just speak your mind. That's all it is. Yeah. But I think it's more to it than just that with keeping the spark alive. I feel like you got to take care of yourself, too, in a way. I feel like that's such a cliche answer but yeah. if you're not happy with yourself at the end of the day mm -hmm. how, am I, how do I say this if you're not happy with yourself at the end of the day you're going to like project those feelings onto the person that's closest to you like we take that's our true. anger out on people right that's true. especially the people that are closest with us so like we have a bad day at work mm -hmm. come home we're irritated what are we gonna do we're gonna yeah. project it onto their partner so like not only if you're having a bad day but if you're not happy with yourself in your who you are as a person let's just say your body or whatever the situation is you're going to be angry and yeah. you're not going to be happy so we take care of ourselves and then we kind of like come together at the end of the day and we're just goofy i think yeah <laughs> we're goofy together but mo mainly being honest like i mean brutally honest yeah. Yeah. i wanted to say that um I, I do that thing where i have a bad day at work and i kind of take it out on her sometimes i'm guilty of that but like usually really? usually she knows yeah huh i've done that and you know, but like you know, because you always say it. You're like, just because you had a bad day at work doesn't mean you have to be mean to me. And then I'm like, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I but just, that rarely happens though. But it's like you go to the gym and you you work out and stuff and like that you, you is get where, your anger out. That there. is where I let a lot of my like uh, pent up just like anxiety and emotion and sh just normal stressors of life. Like that is where I let all of that energy out is the gym. Like that's why I love it. It's like a, it's there. The gym is therapeutic for me. So I therapeutic. I can see that. Yeah. I love it. I just like to be by myself. Yeah. I like to gather myself and, and I bring myself. Her, her therapeutic myself. time is YouTube videos and Dr. Phil. Yes. <laughs> I love Dr. Phil. I will spend Mur murder, hours. Murder Mysteries and Dr. Phil is yes, her therapeutic time. I love her. It's murder Mystery Monday. Oh, that girl that Bailey does. Sarian, oh, I love you. Oh. 
shouting her out. Yeah. She's probably never going to see this, but... Shout out, Bailey. She's my favorite. <laughs> I will literally binge her stuff. I'm like, yes, girl. As she's, like, telling the story, I'm watching her do her makeup. I'm like, wow, that's really good. But wow, that's crazy that that dude did that. What? Yeah, that's funny. But we're here at Target. Yep. We're going to go in. So, in Virginia, I don't know where you are watching this, but we have to wear a mask when oh, we walk in. Oh, right. Yo, let us know where y'all are from and let us know, yeah, like, you know, how it is there. How's the society going? Because I think we just got back to the point where we can uh, go out to bars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. No. No, what? Look up. Huh? Look up. Look up what? Look up. Sound. Oh, no. What? 750. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this one's really good. Wow. The sea salt exfoliating. We're talking. She needs some body wash. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need some beard care stuff. Maybe they have some here. Yeah. What you think? Yeah. Hey, for all my gentlemen's with the manly grizzly beards out there, let me know what you use for beard care. Because uh, that would help a brother out a lot. The, what are you looking for? The thing that I have, it has the, the thing on it. Um, oh, that, she's looking for the thing with the thing. Yeah, that, that thing. That's what you want? Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. This, this thing. <laughs> with the thing on it. I don't oh, they know. have beard stuff here. Oh, wow. Perfect. Look at that, all I do is turn around. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can take the mask off now. Jeez. I think we got what we Makes needed. Makes it so uncomfortable going into stores having to wear these masks. Yeah. One place down? Oh, two places down actually. Oh yeah, we already went to Best Buy. That's yeah. Fine. We are trying to find a, a mount for the camera. Where's Can't freaking find one. I guess I'll have to order it on Amazon. You'd think that they would have them at Best Buy? Nope. Not I mean, at all. In all honesty, if we need to, we can just vlog on the iPhone sometimes. Why would we have to vlog on the iPhone? To for the camera mount. They they have them on Amazon for this. Do they? Yes. Oh. I just said that. Well, I didn't hear you. Well, listen. Speak up. You literally replied to me. No, I didn't. Okay. What are you gonna do? Where to now? You gotta go to Ulta for you. Yes. Isn't that right? I need to. He says that he's hungry. <clears throat> I'm hungry! Um, Chick fil A, maybe. I could do for some French fries. It's, it's down the street. Um, could I get a large. I see the lunch. Yeah. Would you like the meal or just the sandwich? Maybe. Okay. Would you still go? Pier 1 okay. is going out of. Uh, out of service. Out of, out of stock. Out, out of, of business. 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 They're going out of business. That, I cannot talk to that them. That store is empty, baby. There ain't nothing in there. I'm trying to find wall decor for a bedroom. Mm. Oh, those are mine. Wait, you yeah. got a medium? Yeah. This, one, this one's bigger. Oh, is it? Yeah. They look the exact same to me. They look the same. They don't matter. You just said it's bigger and then you I just I thought said... it was. A lot. What do you want from here? You're so beautiful. Thank you. You're so right. handsome. Uh -huh. Oh, they freak these fries today, boy. With the salt, they taste good. You want to take a uh -huh. Freak these sauces. I mean, French fries. <laughs> freak these sauces. <laughs> For all my people out there who know that I'm like really into fitness and stuff and like lifting, one thing that I can't like be strict on or wrap my head around is a strict diet. I eat relatively healthy because that's just what I enjoy. Chicken and rice and broccoli and stuff. But like there are days I crave fries. So guess what I do? You I go fries. get fries. 
And I'm not much of a help because I don't eat well. Mm. Well or good? I don't eat. You don't eat well. I don't eat well at all. I mean, like. You don't eat good. Wait. Right? All right, we need some English professors to help us. Is it eat well or eat? I think it's eat well. How did I'm I get into nursing school? <laughs> I should know this. <laughs> the prereqs for English were like basic English. This is basic English. You don't need fucking Beowulf writing or something. This is basic English writing. Is it? Yes, baby. Oh, uh, I can't do the thing where you shake the spicy deluxe thing inside the... Oh, yeah. We like to pour sauces into the bag of the Chick-fil-A sandwich. Put the sauce in there and just shake it up. Shake it up. I said, I told you, people don't like me. People love you, Rini. Don't even. Don't even. They do like me. I'm just not heavy on social media. That's why. I'm kind of heavy on social media. Bro. I mean, no. You're, you're pseudo famous. The fuck is a pseudo famous? No, I'm not. I don't like that. No. No. You don't like that. No. I just like people. Ooh. I like. I like talking to people and <clears throat> entertaining and. That's why she's gonna be a nurse because she takes care of everyone. Thanks. No, but sometimes I just talk too much. Like if you ever meet me in person and we talk. Did you with the damn? That's crazy. Sometimes I have selective hearing. It's amazing. Hmm. It's amazing. So amazing. <gasps> Woo! Oh, that's another thing I wanted to say too. How do you keep the spark alive? Mm. I know I'm missing something. He always compliments me. Always. But he means it. They're not they're not like generic and they're not just like oh I forgot to compliment her today because I have to like he he genuinely means it. You know? It's it doesn't have to cost anything. Oh. Goodbye. We'll figure that out. What was I saying? I'm literally the best husband in the world. Yeah. <laughs> um, for those of you that are completely new to our channel, that have no idea who we are, I'm Neen. This is Rainy. My real name is Janine, but nobody ever calls me that. So. Tell them my real name. Rainy. <laughs> <laughs> We're both 25. Um, I'm married. My name's Rainy, and as my profession, I'm in I'm in the Navy, the United States Navy, huh? and I'm an aerographer's mate. Which is a for people who don't know what an aerographer's <laughs> mate are, it's a it's a weatherman. Rainy, so I'm is a weatherman. A weatherman. What are the odds of that? Like one in one. Where's that ratio coming from? Mm. I have a napkin, please. Mm, maybe. Sit, please. I did. Oh. <laughs> Usually she would argue with me on that, but she didn't because then we could go back and find the evidence of me saying please, and then she'd be wrong, and she can't be wrong. I can be wrong. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> no, I can be wrong. Yeah. What are we gonna be for Halloween? Ooh, that's a good one. What do you wanna do? What are some good ideas for like Halloween couples? Like we always look them up, yeah. but I feel like we get the same answers all the time. And I wanna hear what like y'all have to say. Yeah. So what would be good for Halloween? And then we can do like a Halloween special. Like what? A Halloween special. Celia, <laughs> <laughs> learn device. Oh, you gotta grab that. Get it, tiny hands. Yay! <laughs> oh my god, it's getting everywhere. That's what he said. Oh! This is our first vlog. I don't really know how this goes, huh? I think we just tell them stuff. I'm just talking to y'all like y'all are here. We were just talking about this. Like We were saying how we always forget the camera is there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the whole reason why we started this YouTube thing is because 
we always did goofy stuff together, like around the house or just anywhere really. And we always posted them on like Instagram or Facebook, like our social medias, just to be funny. And like all of our friends loved it. All these people were like, y'all should make a YouTube, y'all should make a YouTube. And we did it. Mm -hmm. And we love it. We really enjoy doing it. Because it's, really, it's, it's it, what we do mm -hmm. on the daily. So like, why don't we just bring y'all with us? Fun just like connecting with people. Even yes. if it's like online. Because yeah. we've gotten a lot of love and people hitting us up. Mm -hmm. And just saying like, hey, like y'all should do this. I really enjoy watching y'all. Like all that. Did you just take my Chick-fil-A sauce? Probably. Yeah. There's another one. Okay, continue. And, um, oh, yeah, so I actually got a, uh, a Instagram DM, just somebody giving me some love, and I was like, I wanted some feedback. And I said, hey, so what do you think, like, we could do better? Like, what do you want, like, what do you want to see, pretty much? And they, they actually gave me the idea, gave us the idea to, you know, make to a vlog. more, yeah, to vlog, make a more <laughs> serious video, get to know us a little bit better instead of just the funny, goofy challenges. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Voila! Voila! Here we are. Vlogging. Chick fil A is hitting. Why do you do that? Hitting. Your hoodie is so comfortable. This is an extra, extra large. No, I think it's an extra large. But I had to tuck it into my biker shorts in the back. You are doing the most. Right here. So it doesn't flap over, but it's comfortable. So. Oh, but what were we saying before? Oh, but, 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 but. <laughs> oh, but, but, but. This is not sponsored. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't you try that. This is what I was going to say, I think. Um, If you guys have like actual ideas or um, you know, criticism, compliments, ideas, whatever it is, we're open to it. Or ideas, or criticism, or compliments, or ideas. Or compliments, or ideas, or, or criticism. criticism. Or we're compliments. open to it. You guys DM us, you can message us, mm -hmm. you can comment mm -hmm. on our uh, videos, mm -hmm. you can find us on Instagram, you can find us on It'll be in the description Facebook. Down there. Hey, if you see us walking hey. in public and you wanna say hey, we gonna say hey. Mm -hmm. what you look like. What do I look like? Motherfucking uh, uh, Wee wee. Wee wee. Wee wee. If y'all have watched the being mean to my wife prank. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I promise I'm not mean. <laughs> okay. Y'all should have seen his face. And ha it, it was his face, okay? With a mixture of it, what it really he was. said. Because that's just not how, we, like, every couple's different. Everybody has, a, like, their own relationship and how they do things. But, like, we're always so, like, respectful towards each other. And, like, we say good morning no matter what. Every morning. <laughs> the. And the very first thing he does while I'm sleeping is slam the door open and just reenact it. So why'd you make that face? You said slam the door open. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a bad so, day. Yes. I just can't talk ever. So. So, bro, he already left. He, he he already left. He's not coming back for a minute. And that's how and I that's said it. And that's what he did. It's kind of it was kind of tough to hear in the video. And another thing about Janine that y'all should know is she's a very blunt, honest person she's very caring and she's very emotional not like bad, not like bad emotional but like she wears her heart on her sleeve if she doesn't like you you're gonna know she doesn't like you if she loves you you're gonna know she loves you and she does and she doesn't tolerate any disrespect like literally like you can't disrespect her but if you like apologize for it or say hey I'm sorry like I, I might have been having a bad day she's, she'll understand like people are people but like it's all about how you come back from disrespecting her so that's why I knew that like 
doing that <clears throat> would set her off because like I just don't like yeah. when people disrespect each other like I mm -hmm. feel like everyone let's take it back to treat people how you want to be treated mm -hmm. that's how I view everything all the time you know or mm -hmm. I, not all the time I try to no one's perfect we're human back to the emotional thing his definition of emotional is different from the normal definition of emotion emotional the reason I say emotional is because I have a hard time expressing my emotions mm -hmm. so any emotions like expressed to me seem emotional because I can I can be very just like bland and blonde and it comes off asshole -ish if I don't know you and that's why but like you when, just know how to use your words sometimes yeah and then but like when you get to know me like like once I once I like once I accept you uh -huh. then then we're, we're we're cool like I'll I'll shoot somebody for you I'll fight somebody for you <laughs> <laughs> he, he's got your back I got your follow-up you know what I'm saying he's got he's got your back What are our puppies doing? Literally, there have been times we've been at the club and we've been like, hey, check the furbo. <laughs> See what the puppies are doing? <laughs> I gotta poop. No. Auf Wiedersehen! <laughs> yeah, there's people in Germany that watch our, our videos Memories. too. So that they'll know what we're saying. <laughs> we couldn't film while we were in TJ Maxx. There were way too many people. Way, it was way too deep up in there. But I found a lot of stuff, and I'll show you when we get to the house. Oh yeah, nice. I'm excited because I got um, this painting from Target, and it's beautiful. And I just needed some extra wall decor to go with it, and I was lucky to find some. Stay tuned. So. Okay. Shh, so, this is the picture I was talking about that I have. And we are going to take those three pictures out. I've had those since like junior year of high school, maybe? I don't know. Something like that. But I also got these like cute little pumpkins to decorate because we're gonna put like a shelf underneath it. Yeah. And this cute little thing says Wi-Fi password. <laughs> and then that next to it. So we're gonna see how it looks. And I got these cute little plants to go with it. So we'll see. This is my actual foundation that I use, y'all. Foundation. Foundation. I got a new mask, razor, all that good stuff. So we did it. That is the finished product. It looks good. Yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in to our first vlog. Our very first one, complete. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. Check out our Instagram and our Facebook. Yes. All right, y'all. Peace. Make good choices.